Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the technique behind how I made these interesting shapes using volumetric noise in Cinema 4D. So the technique is actually really easy and really quick so let's just grab a sphere, grab a volume builder and grab a volume mesher and then just put the builder inside the mesher and the sphere inside the builder. Cool. And now we just want to go to the create menu here and then we want to go to the field options here and then just grab a shader field. So this is how we're going to achieve the, the noise effect and just put that inside the builder as well. And I'm just going to disable the sphere and the mesher for now and then with the shader field selected just go to the field tab and grab a noise. Cool. And the thing about all noises in Cinema 4D is they're actually volumetric, meaning they're not just 2D images, they're like actual 3D noises. So that means you can do some pretty interesting things with them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scale the noise up to about 250. And then I'm going to select the volume builder. Make sure your shader field is on top of the sphere. Just enable the sphere again and then I'm just going to change the mode from union to subtract. So that way our sphere is kind of acting as our shell and then the shader field is kind of acting like a boolean and it's subtracting from our sphere and if you haven't used volumes before um, the voxel size here this option is essentially a 3D pixel and so this um, number here, 10 centimeters, is the size of that 3D pixel. And you can see the pixels as I just rotate around the object here. You can just see each like little square. That's essentially the pixel. And so if I change the voxel size down to something like 2, you should see those little squares get smaller. They're quite small now. And then now you have the volumetric noise cutting away from our sphere and you get this pretty epic looking effect and you can do some really awesome stuff with that so if I just enable my volume measure like so you can get yeah some epic geometry and you can create stuff like coral reefs and anything you can imagine and it's just a really quick and simple way to get some pretty epic geometry and so also what I like to do with the volume builder selected, I just want to add a smooth layer. Just make sure it's on top of everything and that way it just gets rid of some of the rough edges and you can change the strength if you want to, maybe down to like 50 so that it doesn't affect it too much. Maybe bring it down further, maybe something like 35. Awesome, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and that you've learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it as soon as possible. And also feel free to uh, explore some of the different types of noises you can use. On mine, over the left here, I used Sema. In the middle, I used Varanari 3. And on the right, I used Electric. If you could remember to like and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. Heaps more content is coming soon, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.